Power engineers around the world carefully control the quality of boiler water in order to maximize the efficiency and operating lives of their boiler systems. They're especially concerned with controlling the concentration of dissolved oxygen. Even low levels of dissolved oxygen, or DO, in boiler water are highly corrosive, causing pitting in the metal surfaces. This can result in not only inefficiency, but costly repairs and downtime. So nearly complete oxygen removal is required. Boiler operators use mechanical deaeration and chemical means to control DO levels. Deaeration equipment heats the feed water and vents the released gases, including oxygen. The addition of oxygen scavengers to the feed water and process waters helps reduce oxygen levels even further. The residual DO concentrations are then monitored. The purpose of this video is to display a simple, industry-proven method to measure trace levels of dissolved oxygen in boiler feed water. Chemetrix Dissolved Oxygen Chemets and ULR Chemets Ampules provide the power plant operator with a rapid, reliable means of determining parts per billion levels of dissolved oxygen without the calibration or routine maintenance requirements associated with online methods. This means that accurate results can be obtained almost immediately, usually in about one minute. Chemetrix kits are commonly used as the primary method for determining dissolved oxygen, a means to verify readings obtained from online monitors, or as a backup method when online equipment fails. Each dissolved oxygen ampule contains a unit dose of the highly sensitive reagent Rhodazine D, sealed under vacuum. The Chemetrix Rhodazine D method has been approved by the ASTM for boiler waters and applications requiring testing for low levels of DO. Ideally, Sample testing should be performed at the boiler feed water pump or near the discharge side of the pump. As a last resort, a sample may be obtained from the storage section of the de-aerator. Sampling is the most critical part of dissolved oxygen analysis. A special sampling tube is included in each kit to allow the user to snap the tip of the ampule in a flowing sample stream before contamination by atmospheric oxygen can occur. The sampling tube is vertically mounted with a tube of inert material connecting the sample point to the bottom of the sampling tube. New sampling systems should be purged for several hours to eliminate any remnant air bubbles and other contaminants, while systems used routinely will require purging for only a few minutes. Test samples must be cooled to ambient temperature using a sample cooler, as samples that are not sufficiently cooled may produce false high test results. Once the sample is cooled, gently insert an ampule so that the tapered tip is at the bottom of the sampling tube. Snap the ampule tip in the flowing sample stream by gently pressing the upper end of the ampule toward the wall of the sampling tube. The vacuum in the ampule will cause it to fill, leaving a bubble to facilitate mixing. Remove the ampule from the sampling tube and quickly mix the contents by inverting the ampule allowing the bubble to travel from end to end. Then, dry the ampule. Dissolved oxygen reacts instantaneously with the reagent to form a pink color. For the oxygen chemets ampules, the color comparison must be made within 30 seconds. For the ULR chemets, allow the bubble to travel from end to end 10 times, and then make the color comparison immediately after mixing. To obtain the test result, use the round comparator by gently placing the ampule, flat end first, into the round comparator. Hold the comparator up toward a source of light and view from the bottom. Rotate the comparator until the best color match is found. It's that easy. Here at Chemetrix, we believe that testing should be as simple as possible. Our test procedures are fast, easy, and accurate, making Chemetrix kits the top choice among plant operators worldwide.